Beach. Now to Texas, where an 18-year-old student accused of a shooting at a high school there is in custody this morning. Four people were hurt in the incident. However, the suspect's family says he was only trying to protect himself from bullies. Maria Virial is at the scene in Arlington that is just outside of Dallas, Texas. Maria, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Tony. Right now, school is canceled here at Timberview, although there are still a lot of cars lingering in the parking lot left behind by students and staff during the chaos. This all started when a fight broke out on the second floor of the school you see behind me. When one of the students allegedly pulled a gun, he started to shoot and everything went on lockdown. When reports came in about an active shooter inside Timberview High School, heavily armed police converged on the school, searching the campus and surrounding areas for signs of shooting suspect Timothy Simpkins. Frantic parents gathered as close to the school as possible, desperate for any information on their children. We're scared. We're scared. We just want to go in and get our kid. As the chaos unfolded outside, inside the school, students were sharing this video. Police believe it shows the brawl that provoked the shooting. This is not a random act of violence. This is a student. We believe right now, preliminary, that it was a student that got into a fight and drew a weapon. Dale Topham, a teacher at the school and a father, told us he and his students barricaded the door with these desks during the shooting. My thought was, if my daughter were in a situation like this, I would want someone to keep her safe. It's an all too familiar scene playing out in schools across the country. Federal data shows school shootings have more than tripled from 2000 to 2019. You never know when it's going to be your last day. So I'm very thankful to have my daughter with me. Relieved parents gathered at a nearby school where some 1,700 students were being bussed Wednesday morning after the shooting. Luckily, I finally got a text and said, Mommy, I'm okay. A few after uh, hours after the shooting, Simpkins, Simpkins turned himself in with his attorney at the police station. He is now facing three charges of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and he could face prison time. As for the victims right now, we do know one is still in critical condition, but they are all expected to be okay. Gail. Well, that's good news to hear that everybody's going to survive. So upsetting for the parents not knowing. That's an awful feeling. Thank you, Maria.